up, man. Yeah, man. I'm back, baby. You can't keep a good and bad man like me down for long. What did you think, you silly hobo? I'm the Von Breaker of men, baby. I am Tom Von Break. Again, listen to the cool music, man. Let's see here. Because you know what? You know what time it is? It's time for a revolution, man. Right now we have some Faulkner playing the revolutionaries. Man, they know what's up. So that's pretty cool. Now I'm here <laughs> only because that that one guy, that that hobo Tom, man, he left his house. He wanted to go be with his chick. Oh man, bad idea. That cat's way too friendly, if you know what I mean. And you can tell, you know, I'm all, I'm all revolutioned up. I have my war paint on, my old camo hat on, but not camo. I did a little reconnaissance too in his house. You know what? Hobo Tom might have given up the bottle for Lent. But you know what? <laughs> I didn't. I'm going to put this in a safe place for him. Yeah. But you know what? Other than that, if I'm going to take some of his stuff, I feel an obligation to at least help him out. But before I do so, you know what? You know what, though? I think we should play some of I'm not the one who's so far away when I feel the snake bite enter my veins. And you know what? I'm gonna cue you guys into a little treat here. I'm gonna play some music while I give some predictions, man. Cause you know what? There's only one reason why I get all dressed up like this. That's because AEW's The Revolution's coming to town, man. Up in Jacksonville. Stuff's gonna happen. So you know what? After I took his booze, I made a little list for myself. Well, yeah, this is a, this is a list that I'm gonna give you guys. So what we have here, we have AEW Revolution. A pretty interesting car. You know what? Taking a look at his calendar, his calendar might be a little busy that day, but he might be here though. So you never know what's going to happen. I'm just going to lower this a little bit, even though there is a revolution going on. That's okay. I want you guys to make sure you can hear me at least. That's the important thing. So here at AEW Revolution, you got a couple of good old fashioned wrestling matches going on. See here. So we start off with a pre show. Oh, the lovely ladies come out to play, baby. It's Rio and Thunder Rosa. Oh, muy caliente. Taking on Dr. Britt Baker. I think I know another doctor somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, I think I do. And Rebel. You know what? Even though this is the pre show, Rio and Thunder Rosa is going to win. That's my prediction. But you know what? It, it don't matter, man. That's a pre-show. Then the next, I think the way the show is going to open is that we'll have Miro and Kip Sabian. That, oh, sweet honey. Penelope Ford. They got the best friends, man. Let's hug it out. You know what? Poor Chucky boy has been humiliated a little bit. So you know what that means? He's going to get a little revenge. Best friends are going to win. But you know what? <laughs> I think he's going to miss that match anyway. Well, last day, last day. Match, okay. Then, let's see here. We have the Battle Royale. There's only one Royale I like. And that's a... Well, that's Cherry Jubilee. I, well, I like me a banana foster, personally. But, yep. 
So you know what? Who's going to win? Let's see now that the revolutionary song's over. Ooh, this is such a nice toy of his. I appreciate the fact that he gets the finer stuff. That's good. So let's see here. Oh, yeah. I'm showing myself right now. So let's see here. It'll be, say, Bear Country versus. Ooh, that's so old, too loud. I have to get used to his new setup. I'm used to the old stuff. There we go. So it'll be Bear Country versus Dark Order 1 versus Santana and Ortiz of the Inner Circle versus Dark Order 2 versus The Butcher and Blade versus Private Party versus Top Flight versus Muerte de la Triangular or Triangular de Muerta. Oh, wow. This is, a, this is actually pretty stacked. I know they're not going to win. They're not going to win. Butcher and Blade. No. You know what? I'll go probably with the unpopular pick. Private Party will win. And then in the ladder match. Oh, there's a question mark. Unfortunately, again, I think that, that, that kind fella there, Hobo Tom, already made a tribute to the question mark. And his Mongrovian karate style. Karate. So, it's not going to be him. I think Scorpio Sky is going to get a shot. I have no clue, though. Now, the match that, honestly, I would sleep through. Because this is predictable as anything. Oh yeah, it is super predictable. So you know what? I ain't gonna sleep through that. But that's gonna, but this is gonna be my stone cold lock. It's gonna be Hikaru Shida defeating Ryu Mizunami. She's gonna keep that belt. Ryu's good. This is a good little thing. But this is my Stone Cold Lock. Ryu is not dropping that belt yet. And let's see here. Hangman Adam Page, baby! Taking on the, the leader of worlds, Matt Hardy. You know who has to win this? Adam Page has to win. He can't be under Matt Hardy's belt. Who knows? We'll see what happens with the Dark Order. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. And we have in a street fight, Team Taz, which is Brian Cage, and, oh, the other guy, taking on Darby Allen, and Sting, man, it's Sting. I don't know. You know what? Darby Allen and Sting will win. That'll be good. So let's see here. Mm. Ooh, this is going to be face heavy. I'll tell you what, only because I like the violence. Oh, yeah, I won't get to that match yet. There's still another match to go, and that's the, the Young Bucks, baby. Yeah, they got to defend the honor of the proud papa, who, did, who obviously didn't do a blade job with ketchup. Maybe a sliced ketchup packet. But yeah, the Young Bucks, they're going to hold on to those belts for a while. This will tease more, a little bit of the inner circle stuff. And then, oh boy. Oh wait, what's my snooze? I'll put that. Shh. I'll even know to edit this. You know what? <laughs> because... Yeah, I'll just put that in there. Be my own tip, because I don't think you're going to be here anyway. <laughs> then the main event of the evening, and also my match of the night, 
is gonna be Kenny Omega taking on John Marklin in some weird Japanese contrived exploding barbed wire death match. Oh man, this is gonna get bloody. Folks, if you don't like the sight of blood, don't watch. I think Kenny Omega is gonna retain that belt and therefore set up something with the hangman himself, Adam Page, baby. So yeah. And again, that's my match of the night. Sweet cheeks. And that's it. That's all for the revolution. Way away. Stroke the revolution. Each and every day. So with that, I'm going to take my little spoils with me. I'm going to have some of them sweet honeys from Bike Week. And we're going to part hay a little bit. <laughs> Trust me, folks. COVID 